not cool, lady. Not cool. It has an annoying stamp in it, though. Like, books for kids. But it says, for mature audiences only. 14 plus, you know. But kids. It's close enough. Whatever. What was I going to say? I was literally, like, planning out what I was going to say, and I can't remember. <laughs> It's Jay. I'm here with my September TBR. I'm probably not gonna read a lot this September, so I'm going to show you three books that I'm hoping to finish in the month of September because of university and all that jazz. We'll see how I do. So without further ado, let us get started! Okay, so the first book that I'm really really hoping that I finish because I've wanted to read it for so long now is the Merciless by Danielle Vega. I'm about 15 pages in, so not far at all. But so far, it is so good. I think it's gonna be so creepy, and I'm really excited because on the back it's all like, for mature audiences only. This is an art copy, which I found at a bookstore. Which is illegal, you're not supposed to sell these books, so I was like, bad bookstore owner, but she was like, I don't know that, and I was like, it says it on it, not for sale, but okay lady, I'm gonna buy it. It was only like $4, so I mean. This book is about a girl named Sophia who befriends three girls in her new high school, and she thinks that they're the most popular girls in the entire world, and they're so perfect, and then... They befriend a girl named Brooklyn and they perform an exorcism on her and it sounds so creepy and so many booktubers have given it like 5 out of 5 stars so I've been wanting to read this since it came out. I'm so happy that I finally got it. I like freaked out in the bookstore. I was like squealing. It was really awkward but you know, whatever, YOLO. The second book that I'm hoping to finish is That Snow Rises by Rob E. Bowley. I don't have a physical copy because I'm reading it on my iPhone. <laughs> But it's a zombie Snow White retelling kind of thing, but it's really good so far. It like keeps you on your seat. Dwarves are really messed up. They call what they have their horrors, which is like their problems basically. Like Grouchy has anger management problems. Um, Coffee, who I think is supposed to be Sneezy, he's scared of germs and getting sick. There's Mary who has depressions. It's really vulgar though. There's a lot of like swearing and not really swearing because he changes the words but you know it's supposed to be swearing. It's messed up, man. It's messed up but I want to read it because I want to know what happens. I'm only about halfway through the book but so far I am loving it. It's such a weird book and you can't put it down because you want to know what happens next even though you're like, oh my god, this is so creepy and like weird like who thought to write a book like this but you can't put it down it's it's weird but i love it so far and the final book that i'm hoping to finish in the month of september is since you've been gone by morgan matson i found this book and i'm so excited because everybody says it's so good and it's about a girl named emily whose best friend sloan left her a list of 13 sloan inspired tasks that she needs to do in order to find Sloane who has disappeared. Those are the three books I'm hoping to read this September. I'm probably not going to get through them all because of university, but here's hoping, fingers crossed, that I'm going to do it. The first week of school when I go back is Frosh Week and I have training camp, so I don't have classes and my training camp ends at 12 every day, so I'm going to read after that. So I should be able to get through them all, but we will see. I will let you guys know in my wrap-up video. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! Where's my book app? Where's my book app? You know, whatever. YOLO. What is English? I don't know. I'm still holding this book up. I'm not really sure why. I'm just gonna put it down now.